One times one is one. To multiply means to do what? To make more, right? Yes. Increase in number? Yes. Multiply? Yes. How can one times one equaling one be part of the multiplication table? It fails to satisfy the term multiply. It doesn't multiply. Every so often, Terrence Howard pops up on my For You page to try to convince me that he doesn't understand math. And I find it strange these videos keep going viral because it makes me think that most people can't do math. Terrence Howard suffers from this habit of trying to incorporate language or philosophy into math equations. So when he's saying multiply, he means like be fruitful and multiply, which does mean to make more of. In math, multiplication isn't making more of anything. It's just counting groups. One times one is just one group of one. One times two is just one group of two or two groups of one. The, the, the still, it's still just two. 10 times five is five groups of 10, which is 50. That's what multiplication is, that's all it is. So anything times one is just that number because that's one group of that number. We just call it multiplication. That's just the word that we use, but let's not be stupid. Hit number what? Hit the number two. Number two. two. Go to the square root. It is the second column from the left, third row. It'll have that square yeah. thing. All right, 1.4. 1.414213562373. Yeah. Three, three, Holy now crap. I want you. Now that was pretty impressive. I don't have the square root of two memorized, but what he does with this information, just watch. I want you two to do two separate things now. <laughs> two separate things. I want you to multiply it by two, hit times two, equal, don't you do it. And I want you to hit X to the third. All right, 2.82. 2.82, 8, 4271, the same value you got. Yeah. By multiplying it by two. Yeah. And he just cubed it. The I don't know if this is supposed to be like a magic trick or something, but let me show y'all what he just did. So it starts with the square root of two, which gives you this 1.414 number. It actually, is, it's an irrational number. It just keeps on going, right? Um, and he just says, to one person, he says, multiply by two, which will give you 2.82, blah, 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 right? And that's, you can guesstimate that anyway, just by looking at 1.4 times two will give you 2.8. You can do that in your head. Um, but yeah, this is the number that you get when you multiply uh, the square root of two times two, right? Um, then he got, wants to cube it. So that's the square root of, the square root of two times itself. Now, if the square root of a number times itself, it will give you that number back, right? So the square root of this number gives you two again, right? And then since you're cubing it, you multiply it by that number again. This is the exact same as this. Like it's, it's, it's the exact same, which is why the answers are the exact same. That's all he did. He then has them do it again, do the same exact thing, just divide it by two, cube it again to so show that it gets the exact same result again. But then he finishes with this bullshit. That's saying x cubed is equal to two x, which is equal to x plus x. That's an unnatural equation. That's a mathematical fallacy. And that's the beginning of your math. That's how I invented tangential flight. Now, I don't know what tangential flight is, Probably because, like he said, he made it up. But then he tried to use an irrational number to make a math formula. He said x cubed is equal to 2x is equal to x plus x. First off, x plus x and 2x, they are equal to each other. That's what that means. But x cubed is equal to 2x, that's not an unnatural equation. That's an irrational equation. Which means the only number that fits in this equation that isn't zero is this one. The square root of two, which is an irrational number. Look, I don't know what Terrence Howard is up to. I don't know that guy, but the the smoke and mirrors math problems, that's that's weird.